Did you watch uh, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills last night? <laughs> I gotta tell you something. Taylor Armstrong's behavior was bizarro. And I know she normally does act a little weird, but it was weirder than ever. Okay, so she called Kim and Kyle to tell them that she's skipping Kim's nose job reveal party. <laughs> Good. Uh, for a guy. Uh, but it ends up raising, the conversation ended up raising concerns about Taylor's parenting. Just listen very carefully, you're gonna gag. Okay, so you're leaving for Vegas? Yeah, I'm going to Beaver Creek. Okay. Yeah, I'm playing tonight. So I'm just gonna miss the party and I love you girls and I'll call you someday, okay? Okay. But I'm, I'm so happy and he loves Kennedy. I have Kennedy with me anyway. Can I just keep her with me then? Are you Kennedy with you? Yeah, Kennedy's with me. Can she spend the night with me tonight then? If you want, yeah. You didn't know she was at my house? Yeah. No idea. And she was slurring the way Kim Richards used to. And she didn't know where her daughter was, which is a reason to call the cops. And, and she was leaving the state of California because I didn't know where Beaver Creek was either. She said they're flying from Van Nuys, which is in California, to Beaver Creek, which is in Colorado. She's crossing state lines, not knowing where her daughter is, clearly slurring and talking a little cuckoo. And she's leaving with a guy that she just met on his private plane. <laughs> Taylor? Well, you know, I told you last week that Taylor was going to be uh, maybe leaving the show. Although now with that behavior, maybe she should stay. <laughs> Very entertaining. <laughs> but now uh, there's word that another of the Beverly Hills Housewives may be exiting and that's Adrian Maloof. Now, I've been telling Adrian through the TV, through Hot Topics, when she's come here, and I whispered to her on the couch, it's time for you to leave the show. <laughs> but, but, and this is why, this is why. Well, this is all according to TMZ. She wants to leave at the end of the season. She's reportedly believed, believes that the show has ruined her family. Yeah, that's what reality TV does. It's ruined your family, and it's also exposed you uh, in ways that you, I'm sure you didn't want to be exposed. When you first started off, you were a Maloof. We thought you owned everything. <laughs> and it turns out you own a smaller portion of the uh, basketball franchise and casinos and stuff than we thought, which still makes her richer than the rum, by the way. <laughs> but you're, you've been exposed for not being as rich as we thought. Then, uh, you and Paul were the cutest little happy married couple, and now you're divorced and it's really ugly. Oh. And, you know, the, the subject of uh, you not birthing your own children came up and it was exposed, which upset you. You know, they had the surrogate, which is no nothing wrong with that, but you didn't want us to know that. So that's what reality TV does. Adrian, I hope that this is not just a rumor. You really do just get off of reality TV. And by the way, If there's a piece of a chance that you and Paul can work your relationship out, it definitely is not going to happen in front of the cameras. By the way, Paul, can you shut up? <laughs> uh, here, here's the thing with Paul. You know, I, no, I mean that with love, Paul. I, I mean that with love, but all I'm saying is that, have you noticed that Paul talks too much on the show now? I mean, Paul, they might as well give you a diamond and you line up with all the girls in the beginning of the, uh, of the, the show. I, he talks too much, he's fighting with the girls. I just don't really like men around like that. Like, I don't like to see them in my nail salon. I don't like, like, you know, you go over to a friend's house and you think that you're gonna have like wine and cheese at one o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. Next thing you know, the husband comes home and he sits at the kitchen table with you and starts talking. I remember when little Kevin was going to those birthday parties, you know, when he was like a little goober, you know, three, four, two years old and like that. I used to hate it when those Mr. Mom types would show up and sit, sit with us ladies. Like, they're just certain, places to me that men don't belong. And that's mostly out of the bedroom. <laughs>